are taking the kayak out. So at home we have an inflatable kayak, so this is like such an upgrade to us. And I, we haven't been recording a lot. We've just kind of really been enjoying ourselves and not wanting to always carry our phones and camera or anything. But that is actually the boat we arrived on. So we took a seaplane from Male to Kodadu, which is one of the sister resorts. It's a family resort. We opted to do adults only. And we wanted a bit more of a remote island, so we chose a smaller island that still had a lot to do. And then the other boat is the one we took out on the Sunset Cruise. So what day we did things is going to be kind of jumbled in the video, but overall I just want to give you more of an overview of what there is to do and what it's like doing each thing. So one thing you'll notice, it is kind of cloudy. We opted to come during the rainy season. Uh, it's the off season, so while this resort holds 330 people or guests, uh, there's only about 30 guests here. But honestly, we've loved being in the off season with it being less crowded and it just worked better for our work schedules. So here we are. I would say the only downside to coming in the off season has been the lack of fishing that's available. We really wanted to go fishing and that's not going to work out because it did get canceled the night we had it scheduled, it got canceled for a storm coming in. But this is our resort. That is the pool and candy bar. Yep. And then this is the wave break. They've got surrounding and then they've also got some buoys that kind of mark the drop off. You don't go past that. And then they've got the poles. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it, but there is one straight ahead that help you when you're snorkeling to know where it is that you can actually swim in between the reef during low tide. During high tide, you can swim right over the house reef. Looks like some people got some jet skis. Oh. Uh, so... What else have we done? We saw a Maldivian culture show, which I have lots of film of, and as long as the quality audio, audio is quality, I'll probably use it as a background on some of my snorkeling videos. Those will be separate. I'm not gonna put all of our snorkel footage on this video, because there's a lot. We have snorkeled, see we snorkeled this morning at 5 a.m. Not around the reef, we didn't feel that comfortable going that far out, but just around our via, we wanted to stay where we could see the lights. Uh, what else? We've done a house reef tour, but we did not video that when we were snorkeling. We've also done scuba, but we did not video that. Both of those were really just wanting to enjoy the moment. For scuba, it was a really big learning curve for us. We've never done that. So we were just really focusing on that. Didn't want to worry about a camera while we were learning to operate our regulators and everything. Um, but we absolutely loved both of them. Highly recommend doing the intro to scuba and the house reef tour and the intro to snorkeling. And so we've snorkeled several times. Uh, like I've snorkeled in Honduras. But the intro was still really informative and gave us a chance to kind of swap out some. We brought our own equipment, but then we wanted to swap some of it for their equipment once we got here. Like I think our goggles probably got damaged on the way here on one pair. So we were able to get everything from them and just make sure everything was in the best condition possible. So all the other islands you've been seeing on this video were resorts. This is actually a local island straight ahead, which is kind of neat, even though it's not beautiful to look at, it's kind of neat because you can hear the call to prayer five times a day. If you're outside, if you're in your room, you can't hear it. Uh, but it's just kind of interesting, like you do see and hear a little bit of their culture by being across from the island. And now to my left. Yes, that is really neat. I got some videos and footage of that this morning because they all go out before sunrise. So as the sun was rising, we could just start seeing these boats appear as they came light.
that was really cool. Yeah, I would say that's probably the biggest perk to being near a local island. So what we've got over here is this, which is usually apparently the main jetty. Right now they're using the other one that we already passed because this one's under construction. It got damaged in a storm. So they're repairing it slowly because we get, of the COVID restrictions. They cannot bring a construction crew to the island. Um, people cannot come to and from other islands regularly. Like you can go between resorts, but you can't go between local and resorts. So therefore they cannot get construction crews from Malé out here every day. So it's a slow process, but it hasn't bothered us a bit. We still got to take the seaplane to Kadadu and then just take a boat ride over. And then that's... That same storm did all the damage to the seawall. That used to be one piece. And yes. And where you're looking right now is the Aldu restaurant and the beach next to it. You see the sandbags? Um, that all used to be about a thousand square feet of beach. And it was perfectly flat and good for um, dining out on the beach. It was also taken away during the storm, but they expect that to come back fairly soon with the way the tides bring sand in. Yes. And then you also have the Aqua restaurant right there, which I have some video clips of our food, which was absolutely amazing. So if you get the all-inclusive gold package, eating at Aqua is included. I do not believe it's included in the plus package. And honestly, that restaurant alone is worth the upgrade to the gold package. It wasn't that expensive. Yeah. Like the amount of the upgrade wasn't that expensive and the restaurant was fantastic. And you could book more reservations. We just opted to only do it for one night because there's so many other places we want to eat. Like we want to do a candlelight dinner one night, hopefully. We want to go to a five, the 5.8 Aquarium, which is the world's largest underwater restaurant. Yeah. So that is our plan tonight, weather permitting. Um, so we wanted to try a lot of different things. So we're probably only going to eat at the restaurant that one time. But you can make more reservations if you wanted and if they have availability. It is very small, but it does also have the glass bottom, which is really cool. Or you can dine outside on the edge. Which that's what we did. And you see all sorts of fish swimming and sharks either way. Yes, they light up all around. So it was absolutely fabulous. Other perks to the gold package are like, for example, this kayak is included. Uh, we could also do windsurfing and stand-up paddle boards. We just prefer kayak, so we're doing that. Um, the snorkel intro and the scuba intro were both free. Uh, the exchanging of our snorkel equipment, free, because we were on the gold package. Uh, candlelight dinner, our couples massage, also included. Uh, lots of different drinks and snacks and like in your room everything except hard liquor is included and between just sodas and orange juice and snacks in our room hello hi we have been averaging about 40 dollars a day in that and we don't overindulge we don't empty it out we just like having like sprite and coke while sitting out on the patio we enjoy having some chips to snack on in the afternoon and that has it just adds up i mean it's it's not cheap like a coke but it's not a large coke a, a a small bottle of glass bottle of coke is 650 if you're not on that package so i would say it's hands down worth it to upgrade to gold um oh one bag of laundry is also included what else is included in that package i think that's about it that's a pretty good overview. It, I'm probably missing something, but that's a pretty good overview of what all is included. We definitely spent less by getting the package than we would otherwise. And we enjoyed it more, not having to worry about it. Yep. So, it's been absolutely fabulous. I'm gonna help paddle for a minute now because we've definitely made it about halfway around the island and I haven't even put my paddle in the water. Okay, quarter of the way. Okay, a quarter of the way around the island. Oh, but before I do, I believe this is the Tundi Bar, is it? No, these are villas. Oh, these are beach villas. Okay. And is that the Romantic Beach? Uh, I believe so. These are the sunset views. This is uh, facing west, so you get a great view of, of this the sunset. Of the sunset. Yes. 
and so yeah, so these are beach vias if you opt for that. They also have garden vias, I believe. Uh, so I will say a downside to the beach vias is like we go out to the beach and we just walk all the way down sometimes. So you're like basically walking in people's front yards. It's so, like if you're wanting a lot of privacy and especially if you're coming during peak season, I would not recommend a beach via because like literally that's somebody's house right there. The overwater vias definitely have the most privacy, although garden does too. Like I don't, we don't really walk by those. Uh, but beach via, not a lot of them are super private. I'm sure they have plenty of privacy, but I mean, if we wanted to go and sit on the beach, it would kind of be in someone's front yard. There are certain areas that aren't, like the Romantic Beach at the Tundee Bar. Those places are definitely like for everyone and you're not really like, I would not sit in any of those chairs out there. Those are like clearly someone's personal via chairs but we still like to just walk along the beach and obviously if we're just walking around we're not staying in like one small beach spot by the bar or something so just a note if you're trying to decide on your vias I have a video of what our overwater jacuzzi via looks like and I think that's about it for now so this is the house reef on the west side. So down from the vias by the, some of the beach vias. Beach vias are all over. Um, still out on the kayak. And I'm just gonna put the GoPro in the water. And look at the reef and the fish. We've been showing underwater view, but now we're out by the beach vias. Ours is number five. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, you can see, yeah, my swimsuit hanging <laughs> uh, from snorkeling this morning. And then your shirt. Yeah, we've got some clothes hanging out, but it's a nice perk. They have the clothesline. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so this is our view from our room. 
super pretty and got to see so many fishing boats. So, back to the water we go. drop-off so you can see that it's pretty cool there's a lot more sea life out there obviously but it's also a lot more dangerous the current really picks up is main thing we've been kind of warned about when swimming or kayaking out there and uh, we did see a shark over there when snorkeling once before we are we are up to seven sharks uh, that we've seen since we've been here. The one we saw snorkeling was the biggest. It, it was. was. Uh, full grown white tip reef shark. And it was right at the drop off. Yep. Uh, the others, we've always been on land or on a dock when seeing them swim around. And they were pretty small, probably only like a foot, you would say. Yeah. Or even smaller. So there was two that were like baby babies. Um, but we've seen, what all types of sharks have we seen? Uh, just black tip threes and white tip threes. Yeah, which those are known for not being interested in people. They might be curious as to what you are, what you're doing. So it may come kind of close, but they aren't interested in like attacking you or anything. Uh, just obviously like respect their space. You're in their space. Um, but that's pretty much it. As long as you're not really aggressive towards any of the sea life here, then you should be fine. The exception to that would be if you are unintentionally being aggressive, what they have you as aggressive. And that's gonna mainly be your lionfish and your stingrays whenever you're walking around. Um, they could be in the very shallow areas and view your feet as something attacking them. And therefore they may sting you or um, attack you in some way but that could obviously be pretty bad if it was a lionfish since they're venomous but we haven't had that problem and a good perk is just to not really stomp in the water just try to shuffle your feet and you can pretty much swim until you get like knee deep so we usually just swim and try not to step on coral and even the algae the seagrass nothing on the bottom of the sea floor so we don't mess with it. We saw some dolphins. Oh, I don't know if you're going to be able to see them. So on the sunset cruise, we also saw some dolphins. I don't think I had the camera on quite yet. We were still kind of getting settled. Hey, maybe stop paddling for a second. Do you think you're scaring them? But yeah, on the Sunset Cruise, it's very common that you see dolphins. But what I was going to show you is we're back to where we started almost. And so here's some more beach vias. They go all the way around the island. And here's a boat. We're not sure if that's a local boat or a Komandu boat. That's what resort we're at, by the way, is Komandu. Um... want the dolphins to come back. Like, what do you think's making that ring? That's what I thought was dolphins, so I don't know. I thought it was 
Oh, that's just coral. Oh, that's a big coral. So spectacular turtle. Yeah. 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 So we are out during low tide was like three hours ago, so it's still an hour and a half, two hours. Oh yeah, I forgot it's not seven anymore. It's nine. And it's only about ten, ten thirty right now. So we gotta back up. Yeah. We're on a lot of coral. We haven't touched it, but we don't need to keep going here. Um, yeah, so that's why we have to be like really cautious about all this, but it's beautiful. But that's also why I'm not gonna stick my hand down in there right now because I can't really tell how deep it is. But even here, you can tell it's beautiful. Oh, here's like a gap here. Put my hand in for a minute. So there's a clip or two of a little bit of it. Thank you so much for watching this video of my husband and I in the Maldives. If you would like a room tour or any other videos, just check out my channel. There's a ton of Maldives videos, but thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions. Thank you.